We're live. What's up, all you wild and crazy plumbers? You know me. I'm uh, Chuck Barron. I do the good, the bad, and the ugly of the plumbing trade. Training my two sons to trade. And this is my first live. I uh, haven't done it at all. A couple of Facebook lives, but I figured I'd jump on here. Say what's happening and uh, maybe answer a couple questions. I didn't plan this. I got, uh, I just dropped the video a little while ago saying I might do it, but here I am. I'm just going for it. But uh, see what happens here. I figure I'd give some time to the folks. It's always videos. Uh, then I get to answer questions to your comments in the video. So, Everybody's been going live and uh, during the pandemic, I've been wanting to do live way when it started. And I'll be honest with you, the plumbing trade has just been crazy busy where I haven't been able to do this. I haven't even been able to do videos to film for the channel. And I want to say what's up to Joshua. What's up, my man, PB? I went for it. Thank you, brother. Andrew, what's going on? Cameron. Oh, Josh is from Cali. What's happening, dude? Chai Town in town. Michael King, what's happening? Oh, CB2 is here. See? CB2, my son. CB2, you need to be a guest here. You'll stop in one day. I know you will. And uh, Cameron, what's going on? But I wanted to start these lives because uh, my plan is to to uh, do as many lives as I can now moving forward. Because I'll be honest with you, being in the truck and running the company with a few more trucks that I do have now is really, really hot, really hard to do. Uh, crushing it in the work field. I got um, ACB, you're going to like this. Very proud of my two sons. They're getting it done. And... Uh, it's been a really good summer thus far. I got three trucks going. CB's in one of them. A little bit of the time he's getting it. He's actually going to apprentice school come uh, September. And actually, my company just became a mentor for the state of New Jersey, which is very interesting. Uh, to become a mentor for the state is, is, is a lot of paperwork, to be honest with you. Jerry, the legend. <laughs> legend, I'll see you in the surf tomorrow. Save me some waves. Uh, if you guys don't know Jerry Miller, he's a total legend out of uh, Brigantine. He's a legendary supper, killing the sub game, and he won the Brigantine Cove Surfing Contest today with 20 waves. We'll have him on our guest here because he is a retired garage install garage door installer who's a legend so we'll get him on to give his perspective on business you know he did it right uh you're right jerry too much work for sure we're going to get there don't worry uh but back to the mentorship i uh became a mentor through the state of new jersey it's just a term you know but legally this way my kids and anybody who works for me is legitimately going to get registered with the state and that time counts towards uh, either apprenticeship or even a journeyman who wants to take the license in the state of New Jersey. So it was big news for me. Did it right. What's up, Chuck? Chuck, I like that name. Uh, see you, CB. But, uh, yeah, this is my first live. And I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. I appreciate it. And I didn't announce. I just went for it. And... You know, I'm here to answer questions. I actually had a gentleman call me from California. Uh, uh, Marcy answered the phone. We were just about to go for a bike ride, and he wanted to ask me about a tool, and she said I, was, I wasn't I was here, and I wasn't. So I couldn't take the call, and, I, and the, your, your phone number came up, call or block, so I couldn't call you back. So I like to answer them questions when I can. Hey, Alex, what's going on, dude? And, uh... I always, I, I'll be glad to take phone calls from you guys. It's a, 
I find pride in taking calls from like young plumbers, homeowners, guys doing projects, even fellow plumbers, you know, saying what's up. And uh, I get a lot of calls from uh, about tools and stuff like that. And uh, I just got a call from a gentleman in Philly. Oh, man. Well, I forget his name already. He Facebooked me and wanted to do some drain machine work, and we got him into that. And he actually called me back and said everything's going good. He picked up a rigid, a rigid 400, which is a nice little machine. So someone from Piva, what's up, dude? Juan Gonzalez. He's my coworker, I think, from the ACFD. What's up, dude? Any new cordless drills? Oh, any new cordless tools lately? Should I buy any? Oh, did I buy any cord? No, but I did buy the Rigid 306 drain machine. That joker is a beast. That joker is a beast, man. I didn't get no good films of that yet, but I'll tell you what. That thing is a... Uh, it's a flex shaft, but it's actually the next one up. There's like three of them. It's the K9306. It comes with a motor that sounds like a freaking diesel engine. And that joker is just powering through. Uh, what's up, bro? <laughs> uh, a lot of longtime followers on here. I appreciate you guys stopping in, man. I really do. Uh, how's, my, how's my volume on this? Can you guys hear me okay? Uh, uh, the 306. I find you know, I did. I finally read the instructions on how to use a flex machine. This is pretty funny because so I don't read instructions, you know, typical plumber, typical male. But on the flex machine, I finally read it because when I first used it, I was trying to drive it up this drain line. And thanks, Jonathan. And when I, I it was a dry line, I'm Driving up, can't get nothing clear. Here we're in the wrong drain line. Long story on this job is still not complete. And what happened was we're cranking the machine in there, cranking in there. It's running, running, running. And when I tell you, I smell some rubber burning, like all the way up the, all the, way up the drain line. I'm like, what do I smell? So I finally bring the cable out like 60 feet in. And sure enough, I melted the end of the vinyl wrapping on this 306 so i'm like wow that's crazy so here i go back and i read the instructions like every good plumber does after he messes up on the flex shaft they say you should go fish it all the way in right fish it in and then go through the blockage according to the instructions now according to rigid run the machine backwards because you're now you got the, you're behind the blockage you got a full load of water behind it hopefully so you're running the flex machine and now you're bringing it back out and as you're bringing it back out of course you clear it i haven't done that yet so i'm waiting for that to happen uh so i just cut the little bit of burnt off the flex and then we're back in business but i did use my k209 yesterday Chucky, you missed this call, CB2. I sent the boys home early yesterday in that rainstorm, and I scored one with the K, K9204 in a crawl space on a two-inch condensate line that picked up, like, on this big custom home on the bay, picked up three or four condensate lines, <laughs> instructions, yeah, uh, condensate lines from big HVAC units. And I had a crawl space entrance in the garage. I barely fit in that thing. It was like, I'm going to call it 20 inches, maybe. Slid my machine in there. I slid in there. The guy had a, uh, what's up, Mark from Kentucky? What's going on? So I slid in. The guy had a nice uh, skid roller. Got on that thing. But the, the, I could have never gotten no other machine in this crawl space entrance. I actually slid the thing in with my drill. We went to the spot. It was overflowing in the crawl space, which was all concrete, so it really wasn't doing no damage. But put the flex in there, shot that joker down 30 feet, and cleared a condensate line in a crawl space. No electric, just with the drill gun, and, and uh, that worked out great, man. So I scored one for the, K20, the, K, the K9204. That's the, the, big, the little one. 
the baby. So, oh, man, always condensate, man. It's crazy. I don't do HVAC, but there was a ton. It had, it actually had two inch ABS lines. I have a question for CB. Are DW fittings already sloped? What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. That is, is he trying to give me a trick question, Cameron? Is that like looking for a left left hand at Franco? I was going to tell my son to get the other day. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure, Cameron, what you mean. Uh, when I move forward in my live streams, what I am going to do, folks, is I am going to have like a room where we all come in and chit chat face to face personally. So we can uh, we can definitely uh, do some back and forth, man. Pass on some information and uh, already sloped. That's what I'm saying, Benny. I'm not sure what he means. Uh, mm, is a 90 or a real 90? Or... Thank you for checking in with him, guys. Uh, but having some room meetings, like come in, like almost like a Zoom meeting, like all these Zoom meetings were going on with guys coming in and, you know, having a general conversation, like whatever you want to talk about. You know, we have your apprentice who young plumbers who will learn certain things or whatever we come in exchange info for them guys what tools questions about the trade whatever fellow tradesmen like me business owners and or master plumbers or journeyman plumbers are just excellent at plumbing just want to pass it on oh scotland's in the house what's up brother uh you know just different stuff like that yeah, it's going to be powerful, man. I'm looking forward to doing this. I'm going to do it more often and set up like a regular schedule. Once I ha once I have a regular schedule in my life, as you all know, I'm a fireman. And uh, it's a crazy, uh, crazy, crazy lifestyle that I live working both jobs and trying to do this on a regular, consistent basis. So uh, it's coming out. I got two more years left in the apartment, two and a quarter. It's going fast for sure. So I'm looking forward to it. BC from Texas. What's going on, Tex? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, got, got any questions, man? We got plenty of tradesmen in here, I see. A nice a nice uh, group of fellas. There. I recognize a lot of your names, man. It's awesome. I appreciate you stopping in. And uh, I also want to thank you guys for, like, and guys have questions and and uh everyone chimes in and gives the answers and you know it, it helps me out tremendously man it's uh it's uh great information to exchange for the young people i mean even man listen i learned myself from you guys uh i always call my man john Krim. he's great he's always straight me out with some details and uh I ain't shy to accept any instruction. Uh, I'm not perfect. I never claim to be, but, you know, I learn every day. Matter of fact, I had a nice job this week on that rainstorm. This is the job of the week. On that rainstorm, I had a Renai tankless. So it, 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 he called. I put it in seven years ago. A guy calls me up. I don't even remember putting it in. And the first thing I thought of is it has not been serviced. So we go there. I'm thinking, wow, he's going to need service or something crazy is wrong. So I go there and he tells you what's going on. And he tells me that the Renai, the ring was driving against the vent, like sideways. Excuse me. And uh, it actually shut the heater off midstream and shut the water off to his unit. And he kept reading the code 79 engine guy i am an engine guy i'm out of there soon david dylan i can't wait to get out i'm looking forward to the day i can hang up the boots uh so the the renai shuts down not only does it shut the, the gas off and code out it actually shuts the flow of water off he actually showed me i'm looking at it going wow that's crazy so we call tech support because I, I really have no, have no idea what was going on and i get on with tech support 
and the guy goes, hey, Coach 79 means that water got in the bottom of the jacket and there's a overflow or a water sensor at the bottom of that jacket that if you get compressed air and blow it in it, it works. So I said, oh, man, I ain't got no compressed air. And then I realized on my truck I have uh, cans of air for tap cons because you're actually, which I, I learned the hard way too, tap cons, you're supposed to blow the air out before you shoot the screw in. I go in my truck. I had two cans of air. So I come back and I blow the thing out and the thing works great. I was like, all right, we learned something today. So it ain't, ain't never too late to learn. Uh, I learned it today. Uh I, I, yo, Alex Stoll, PB. Is this the famous PB from across the nation? Present yourself, PB. <laughs> is this our guy, the famous Instagram PB? I don't know. I talk to him a lot. I'm not, I think I asked him this live, uh, not live, but uh, in comments a lot of times. But I think PB, the original PB, not to insult you, PB, you know what I mean, PB? That it might be a different PB. I don't know. I think PB has another YouTube channel. Definitely Instagram because I, I follow him. Uh, he's from uh, – it is it is PB? It's him? Oh, man, that's cool. I followed him on Instagram for a couple years now. He's got a nice thing going over there. Uh, a lot of plumbers come in that mention him, our boy Stevie Lav. We all know Stevie Lav. Matter of fact, I want to get with Stevie Lav. You ready? Stevie Lav. Uh, oh, who's the other one I was just talking to from New York? Oh, Bob's video. <laughs> Bob was calling me out on some on some cast iron stack repair that I did because I didn't use the Bandit stack clamps, you know, in Fernco. And uh, <laughs> he was pretty funny, but he was cool. Uh, I followed him too. And there's a couple of plumbers I follow, uh, but it's all good, man. Anyway, anybody got any questions? This is, I got 44 people watching. That's really good, man. I thank you all. I thank you all. Uh, let's go through some comments here. Bum, bum, bum. She's a leaker. That's Stevie Lav. I call, I actually want to get him on the phone one day, but now I'm going to do this one day. I'm going to call him up, make arrangements. We're going to have like a, uh, All Star Weekend of Plumbers, man. We'll get together, talk around, bring in the Q and A, uh, and I just came to say what's up. Sorry, I can't stay. <laughs> Ghost face, no face. It's all good. I wonder who that is. I probably know him. Uh, so yeah, I want to do a uh, do some stuff with the uh, Brooklyn. Yo, Brooklyn Frank. Yo, all right. Let's see this little story. Brooklyn Frank's in the house right now. I'm in Stone Harbor down south and uh I, I hear someone call my name I'm like someone just call i look guy sits up so i'm thinking it's a guy i went to school with and it's brooklyn he goes i'm brooklyn frank i go brooklyn frank i recognize your name youtuber so awesome meeting you man thank you for stopping by man i appreciate it uh but yeah it's interesting how many people on the street will stop the van stop the kids Whoever's driving a van, it's, it's pretty funny. Uh, I do want to do a Stevie collab, and I'm going to do a, another collab with my man, Billy Rogers. If you want a Billy Rogers sighting, let me know. Uh, I'm definitely going to get him involved. We'll get him on a screen share because he's so damn crazy. <laughs> he will definitely do a screen share. So, uh, you know. He's insane. He's my good friend, and uh, he's a bartender. He does everything. Retired fireman, but uh, uh, we'll get Billy back in here. I'm going to continue to do videos. Uh, there's no doubt. So, and right now I'm really buried in uh buried in work where I can't even film. Like to the point where I'm like going from job to job, and to me sucks because. I actually like to stay and film and don't like the pressure of getting done, running to another job. It sucks. I just can't handle that. And for me to film and do it right, I got to have a nice flow and not pressure on me with the phone ringing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to tell you guys. 
But that's common because I have a nice plan coming where I'm going to be able to pick and choose my jobs, teach the young bucks, CB2 and Angelo, while filming. Still on the job, you know, no no classroom setting. We're going to go do the real thing, you know, all the time. I, I just I just like it. And uh, so, anyway, I want to keep doing it. Oh, there it is. J Torres, see that third uh, emoji you sent me, the surfer? That's where I need to be. Matter of fact, we caught some waves this morning. It was nice. I needed it. Uh, well, I just wanted to check in with you guys, say what's up, and uh, again, appreciate the following, and I appreciate all the support. And uh, I look forward to doing this again and uh, come up with a regular schedule, even some topics or whatever. And uh, even get you guys on. You guys will come on with me and share some info. Be glad to do, be glad to do it for sure. All right. All right, guys. I will talk to you soon. See you soon out there in the streets. And uh, there goes another satisfied customer. Appreciate it. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Boom. And there it is. All right, guys. Have a great night. It's Saturday night. Take care.